I actually feel like you guys are becoming a lot more aware of the compassion that people need. And I'm getting this purely because you are purifying your own soul. You're already digging up your own shit and you know how hard that is. So for someone who isn't even aware of how to do that and they're just deep in their shadows, you're going to understand how to not take that on number one, but you're going to give them the gift of compassion. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Alicia and welcome to your daily dose of magic. Today is a weekly energy update to see what's in store for you this week. I'm super excited to tap into your angel spirit and guides to see what you're maybe letting go of this week, what you're stepping into, what you may experience and how to navigate through it. Of course, I'm going to be channeling with my trusty deck of cards. I'm going to be using today both the Starseed Oracle deck right here by Rebecca Campbell. And I'm also going to be using the Sacred Forest Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. The illustrations on this one are so magical. Actually, for both of them, they are absolutely amazing. So remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. So something that I might say may not resonate with you moving into the week, or maybe you're sitting here going, I just don't think this is going to play out this way. Just see and watch what happens. Remember, there is a disclaimer in the description below as well. Legally, I have to say that this is for entertainment purposes only, and it should not replace any medical professional advice. I'm just going to see what the trusty cards have to say. We're actually going to get into it right away. But before I do, remember to like, subscribe, share, and definitely comment below. I aim to get back to all of my beautiful community, and I love to hear if this video resonated or not. So we are going to get into it right Right now. Angel Spirit Guides, what do we have coming up for this week? Angel Spirit Guides, what do we have coming up for this week? Tapping into the energy of this week, what can we expect? Okay, we can expect quite a few things. Funnily enough, I wanted three cards, but Spirit popped out four of them. So don't worry, I will be sharing with you guys what is coming up as well. I'm just going to get some clarifiers along with the energy of what is coming up here. How's everyone been as well? How was last week? What are you guys currently moving through right now? I am doing daily videos, by the way, on my YouTube channel. So tomorrow we've got to pick a card reading. And then if you're a manifesting generator on Wednesday, I'm going to go into a reading specific for you in human design. Thursdays. Thursdays are a sole purpose and career check-in. And then Fridays, we have anything to do with love, health, or wealth. All right. Angel Spirit Guides, can we get some clarification, please, on what is coming up here? Ooh, there's some juicy stuff coming up, guys. I'm really excited to share with you. It's a really cool story coming together as well. You guys are already like... I want to say clearing and purifying your innocence or you're tapping back into your innocence, which means you're kind of clearing everything that doesn't align with your sovereignty moving forward. Now, when I say sovereignty, like it just feels like some of you may have been not on purpose acting out of alignment with, you know, your higher self, but it does feel like a lot of you guys were either projecting your past trauma or projecting your way you think think things should be. I feel like some of you potentially have been wondering like, this should be this way. Why isn't this way? And it's kind of got you a little bit down. I feel like this year, uh, this week is going to be a really big shift with you around kind of tapping back into just what is and what you can work with right now. It does feel like some of you guys have been getting into like this idealized world and this fantasy world and there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like you may have been a little bit ungrounded and instead you're kind of like almost not leaving like manifestation behind, but it kind of feels like you may start to ground and kind of cleanse and purify your soul and spirit in this reality, in this time space reality. So we have purification, the pixie spirit here, and we also have empathic star seed. So I actually feel like some of you guys have definitely, oh, not pixie spirit, sorry, that says pine spirit right there. Um, I feel like some of you guys have been maybe feeling like your empathy and your sensitive nature has gone against you. I'm seeing that maybe some of you even last week, the week before have, um, essentially absorbed what isn't yours. And I feel like this week is going to be a week where it's like, I must see this, um, like this glass or this, um, mirror or this, you're just smashing through something that is not yours. Again, it kind of feels like that idealized 
reality that you may have pictured for yourself or that you've been holding. Maybe you've been like holding up a frame of someone else and like thinking that's your stuff, but it's not your stuff. And there's this energy of like you're purifying yourself this week. You're kind of tapping back into your empathy and your um, very much starseed qualities and your sensitivities as your superpower. Isn't it interesting? Can I just say, didn't I just mention that some of you uh, have been out of alignment with your sovereignty and kind of what feels most in alignment with your highest values? Look what this says right here. It says energetic sovereignty. Yeah. So it feels like some of you maybe haven't been honoring your energy. And I'm even seeing some of you, if you're healers or if you're in the medical field or you're working with people in service, you could even be working um, at the food counter and serving people. Like you're interacting with people, whoever this message is for. And it says like, not that you have to do some 10 minute, 15 minute, half an hour process around um, like cleansing your energy, but even just taking a minute to like focus your attention and set the intention to clear what isn't yours. And it can literally be as simple as, I am setting the intention to release what isn't mine and release it back into the highest of light for it to be resolved. Like that just channeled through. Um, so even in your minor interactions, I'm getting your acute, your minor, acute doesn't fit, fit into this, your minor interactions this week. It could be even walking past someone and you kind of go, oh, like I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what they're dealing with right now. You're picking up on their shadow. They're not an energy vampire. You're picking up on their shadow, right? Their density of their shadow. Even as you walk past, this will not affect me. This will not affect me. I'm energetically sovereign. I empathically am sovereign. I am going to send their healing and their shadow up to be resolved in the highest of light and blessings to them. So it feels like as well, some of you might be blessing people as you go. And I don't mean necessarily in the kind of religious sense of like God blessing, things like that. But I am feeling like some of you guys are tapping into the energy of graciousness and grace and compassion. So I feel like a lot of you, even if you are picking up what isn't yours, I actually feel like you guys are becoming a lot more aware of the compassion that people need. And I'm getting this purely because you are purifying your own soul. You're already digging up your own shit and you know how hard that is. So for someone who isn't even aware of how to do that and they're just deep in their shadows, you're going to understand how to not take that on number one, but you're going to give them the gift of compassion. So that's one energy that is coming through at the moment. The other energy is you've got manifesting miracles here. You've got the water spirit. And along with that, you've got water your garden. <laughs> I love the synchronicities in these reading. It just makes me so happy when like spirits just on the same page with like two different decks, right? Um, okay. So you've got nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. So even kind of tapping into this water in your garden, it's kind of like maybe some of you have lost connection with the water. You go for a swim. This is a really beautiful week to even, um, what are they saying? Like smell the roses, kind of like take a moment to sip your cold water. You know, like so many of us just like grab our drink bottles. Like we're so like unconscious about it rather than grabbing your bottle, like feeling the cold water, like feel what it's like to take the lid off the sound, hear the sound that that makes, you know, it's very ASMR, isn't it? Like some people like, like the sound of this. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, I'm getting like far fetched and then feel the cool sensation trickling down your throat into your body, nourishing your body. Okay. I feel like you, a lot of you as well are going to be focusing on health this year. Um, I don't know who I was listening to astrologically. I'm not a massive astrologer. I really don't know a lot um, about it. I do love researching it, but I do remember someone saying that um, there's going to be a lot around our health this year, our immunity. And obviously in 2020, that brought up a lot, but this is actually more about the daily habits that you do. And I'm actually getting for some of you that you're needing to drink more water or you're needing to feel the cool sensation on your body. And for some of you, I'm even getting like, stop having really hot, hot, hot showers. You're actually going, maybe some of you are doing cold therapy. Like we've got water here. So maybe you guys are just shifting things up with the way you relate to water. Now that sounds really weird, doesn't it? But that's exactly what's kind of coming through in the energy of this. Um, 
I am getting as well some of you that may be an opening to connect with someone a little more emotionally on a deep level. You may be having not necessarily conversations, but I'm almost seeing like telepathy. I feel like some of you may open up your telepathy gifts and it feels like they'll be in the close relationships around you, family, friends, even like coworkers, like anyone who you see more so on like a daily or regular basis. You may start to kind of pick up on what they're feeling, thinking, um, but not taking it on, right? So we're not going to absorb that energy. We're purifying ourselves of what isn't ours, pine spirit. But it feels like you are going to like learn how to connect on a deeper, more emotional level without them needing to even say anything to you. It feels like a very like unspoken bond. So instead of like having the hard conversations and having the conversations you know you need to have, that's great. But for this week, it definitely feels like they're more so around the emotions of things, the telepathy and the unseen. Your water is very moon, right? It feels like it's going to bring and tap into a lot more of the moon um, and energy so like your unconscious your whatever's hidden beneath the surface like diving underwater exploring your own underworld and it feels like you're going to be joined by other people who are on that same journey we did just come from a cancer full moon as well so i'm not really surprised that there's some still like lingering energy from that maybe you guys didn't even concentrate on that but it feels like this week there's a lot of emotional kind of healing or emotional themes that are coming up for you guys moving on we have i'm sorry literally the card i am sorry and secret spring which is success there is a message coming up for you guys around actually almost like apologizing to yourself for being so hard on yourself if you're not where you want to be yet in life in your work whatever success means to you maybe it's starting a family maybe it's um you know getting a promotion maybe it's uh launching a business like whatever it could be smaller than that you know nothing small if it's big to some person it just feels like some of you guys have been really um hard on yourself and it feels like this sorry energy like being hard on yourself isn't going to make the process speed up, right? It's actually probably going to slow it down because you actually need to heal and give yourself more grace and compassion. It feels like this week, guys, even the theme, it could be what I named this reading. It's giving yourself the gift of grace and compassion and holding yourself in this spaciousness, this watery emotion, knowing that you're purifying and cleansing and, you know, apologizing to yourself, but knowing that you are successful already. There is this message coming up of like, look at what successes you have already achieved because it feels like, it feels like, see these two energies right here. It feels like this is your adult self and like this is your inner child self or even like your past life self. And it feels like you're apologizing to like, let's say your inner child to be like, you're not good enough. Like anything you've said to yourself, like any negative self-talk that's been going on, especially around like not being enough or not having achieved as much is definitely going to come up this week for you to kind of just give grace to. And what I mean by that, and I'm a healer as well, a spiritual healer. So if you want to book a spiritual healing session, click the link in the description below and there's a link that you can go and book. This is the stuff we do, right? We go into psychic stuff, but we go into how you can actually heal your trauma, your fears, your limiting beliefs and your past blocks that are stopping you from actually connecting with your soul's purpose, your highest evolutionary version of yourself and your inner child and this part of you that only wants love. So we're going to tap into that. And right now, something you can actually do based off kind of the energy coming up here is by writing an apology letter to your inner child just you know almost thanking it for always being there for you but also recognizing that you've said some harsh things to it to it to her to him to they to whatever and them feeling like you have their back because they have achieved a lot the message I'm getting here along with this card of success right here is that you actually have achieved a lot already you have achieved a lot already and you've got to be very emotionally in tune with how that already feels like how does it feel to have already achieved so many different things and you might have new visions right now and those new visions haven't exactly manifested in the way that you've wanted to um but it is showing me here that like there's an apology needing to be had towards yourself there is a message as well this only is for a select few of you that you may be apologizing to other people around like your projection onto what they should be doing with their life. For some reason, I feel like some of you may have been giving like unsolicited advice. I don't know why I'm hearing this. It doesn't really have anything to do with the cards, but I'm just reading the energy coming up right now. This week, be mindful that 
you may actually have a trip up and project what you think someone should be doing with their life, but they're on their own soul's journey. They're on their own path. And I actually feel like they may have a different version of success to you. So it does kind of feel like maybe you're projecting your own definition of success onto other people, but it's only for them to recognize. Like if they're not happy right now and they don't feel successful, okay, sure. Like if they ask you for advice, gift it to them, but it does, it's coming up as unsolicited advice. So you may be starting to apologize this week for your projections, um, knowing that that's coming from a place because you're needed to say sorry to yourself all right so that's the energy coming up there the last little set of like vibes of like what's coming up this week for you guys you've got meandering pathway you've got flow this is beautiful it's like a wizard going into the mountains kind of just getting lost for the sake of getting lost i'm getting this energy of like although this is like a wizard to me this is very like magician vibes in the tarot um maybe not so much the meandering kind of pathway but it does feel like whatever you're going to come across it's okay to get lost in that and explore yourself in that way because you're going to find your star family uh, it does feel like some of you have been very uh, strategic in the way that you want to have your pathway flow. And what I mean by that is whatever aspect of life, I am getting a lot of friendships right now coming into it. I feel like that's because we're getting soul family come up and that's definitely all about your soul family, your soul tribe um, and stuff like that. And it does feel like you may have been strategic around who you want in your life. Excuse me. I should have that turned off. Um, <laughs> so this year you're get, kind of getting lost in that. This I say this year, this week, but it feels like actually this year, I'm going to get more clarity on that because that feels like a little insight into 2023 for you guys. Um, it does feel like you're allowing yourself to get lost in what connections you make this year. How exciting. You are going to get lost in the connections that you are making this year. And it's going to lead you right to where you need to be it's going to lead you to connect with the souls who you incarnated with or with souls who have like you've had a past lifetime with as well that's kind of what i'm getting um it does feel like as well see you've got the two and the four here you've got 24 um that does translate two plus four equals six i am getting that in you know there's a message of luck it's kind of like you're going to stumble luckily around the people who really relate to you who really see you but they might look different to you and i say that being like i'm not take physical appearance out of it gender, race, nothing like that. It's like, they're just going to be different than you, but they see you for who you are. So you may be in completely different jobs. You may be from completely different states and countries and all of that, but it's like, you just wander. Maybe you're wandering on the internet. Maybe you just go on some weird scrolling, like, you know, uh, what would I say? Some scrolling... I don't know, like you get lost in scrolling on social media and you like stumble your way across this like page and you're like, wow, I love her energy. I love his energy, I love their energy. And I just want to connect with them and reach out. And you create this massive friendship that's like so soul aligned. And that's what you guys are needing to connect with. And I'm going to tell you something that actually happened this morning for me. Um, and I feel like it's going to resonate with where you guys are going into this week. I, for a long time or for a while, because I have a puppy, I haven't really sat in the cafe like I used to. Now, I I used to sit in a cafe every single day, journal. I used to um, do a lot of my paperwork, paperwork, computer work, admin stuff, business stuff in the cafe. But because I have a puppy, she's like all over the place. And today I was like, I miss having random conversations with people. And I really absolutely loved that part of my life. Every day I would meet someone new and I'm a very talkative person. Hello. That's why I started a YouTube channel. And the, the, this morning, I actually went and allowed myself to just open up to the possibility of connecting with someone. And I was just doing my thing. I sat there with my puppy and fast forward, like, I don't know, five minutes, this woman sitting next to me who like didn't really blink an eye at me at first, but she looked at me and she just asked me about the area I live in and just how long it's going to take to get to the city. Very like superficial stuff at first, like just small talk. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. And then she randomly asked what I did. And then I mentioned to her that I am a spiritual healer. I have YouTube. I have, you know, psychic mediumship abilities. And that's what I've built my business around. And she was like, oh my God, how'd you get into that? You're so young. And she's in Chinese medicine. And like, there's this whole thing and she's traveled the world and it's just beautiful. 
And we just connected and I said, look, I had an eating disorder that I actually um, healed from. By the way, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> um, one of the things that psychically woke me up, I guess you would say, and put me on this path of like spirituality, um, kind of being esoteric and mystical and being into all of the universe and things like that is my eating disorder, is my healing journey. And I hired a spiritual and holistic health coach who kind of opened me up to this world and then I dived even deeper into it. Naturally, I became a past life reader and energy healer and trauma healer and hypnotherapist and all the things that we don't have time to list. So we got on this beautiful topic and she said, oh my God, my teenage daughter has an eating disorder. And I was like, fuck. I was like, what do you know? Like, and she goes, how did you heal from that? Do you identify with that anymore? And I said, the first step to healing my ED in a non-traditional way was to stop identifying with the very thing that was causing me pain. I had to get in harmony with my ED as opposed to it harming me, right? And I feel like, you know, this this week for you guys, I keep wanting to say this year, I feel like you guys may have these soul and starseed interactions where you will just be out in the middle of nowhere. And it might be a conversation that lasts for a minute, five minutes, half an hour, an hour or a lifetime. Who knows? Like she wants her daughter to now work with me, which I'm so blessed at in a cafe. It just came out of nowhere. And I was quite lost in who I wanted to serve and things like that. And I feel like the universe just bought me on this on a platter and was like, here you go. I was like, thank you very much graciousness, right? Grace, grace, grace. I'm going to get some more information because they keep telling me what's in the year ahead is like you getting lost a little bit, but finding the most beautiful things in the most unexpected of ways and not being afraid of that because you will meet who you're destined to meet. For some of you, this could mean a soulmate. It could mean, you know, your star family and who you resonate and vibe with. So I'm going to get some more information around the year. I know this is a weekly reading and energy update, but I am getting like there's something in the year for you. What is in the year for them? Angel Spirit Guides. My beautiful people watching this, remember, comment below if this is resonating. I definitely want to hear it. Angel Spirit Guides, please, please, please give us some energy for 2023 around this. What is exactly, what pathway are they flowing into? Who are they going to meet? It is sending you into a journey of trust, the crystal cave. So the reason I feel like this has come up, like this meandering pathway is because like I said, maybe last year, maybe last week, you've been very strategic in the way you want to do things, the way business needs to work out, the way you need to be successful, the way you need your life to be, the way you, it's just, I just feel very constricted and it's feeling for this year, you're going to trust, you are going to develop more trust in the flow again, because I feel like this is not unusual for you guys. I feel like you've done this a million times over. You have incarnated on this planet a million times over. You've jumped down to earth being like, yay, let's go. And sometimes you fucked up. Sometimes you've got it right. And you are where you are right now. Again, we're working with what we have currently in this moment. Remember, you guys have been getting caught a little bit in the idealism, the rose colored glasses. You're taking them the fuck off this week and you're going, right, where does the universe want me to be? What do I have to work with? And you need to trust in that. All right, beautiful souls. That is it for our energy weekly update. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you want to work with me a little bit deeper, because in our one-on-one -on -one psychic readings and mediumship readings, we go very, very deep into what spirit want you to know so you can gain greater clarity, greater, great, I can't even speak, greater clarity and confidence and kind of courage. I'm getting the word courage. If you're needing like a kick up the butt in terms of stepping into your greatness and being brave enough to follow your true north, I feel like this psychic reading is definitely going to be for you. Click the link below. Or if you have blocks in your life and you are stuck and you're feeling like you're in different situations and hard situations that you just can't navigate through, maybe you're feeling like you don't belong on this planet and you need to learn to feel safe in your body as a human being. Definitely check out our spiritual spirit uh, healing session that you can do below with me. I reached out to Alicia in hopes that she could help heal my nerves and performance anxiety. So we felt the best option was to book in a one-on-one -on -one breakthrough coaching session. Um, I actually had no idea that we'd dive so much deeper into everything. Um, so Alicia helped me create a lot of affirmations and visualizations um, as to what I wanted to achieve and what I wanted to focus on. So she guided me through a meditation and a visualization uh, back to my childhood um, just to find the beginning of my anxiety and trauma and then from there we're able to help heal the cause and all other events leading up to the now moment 
it was honestly such an incredible experience and I would highly recommend it for anybody. Um, I learned so much about myself that I wasn't aware of until then. Um, she even gave me additional tools and tasks to try at home um, after the session, which I still use today. And um, I'd honestly do another session. I'm so grateful for everything from Alicia. So they're the two offerings that I have on at the moment. Obviously, I have bigger kind of coaching transformational packages available, but I would highly recommend starting off with one of the two other options if you want to start to work with me on that deeper level. Again, that is it for today, guys. Definitely subscribe below and also hit the little dingy button right there, the little bell notification that tells you every time I upload a video, which is every day. <laughs> How lucky for you guys. You can pick and choose what you're drawn to. Remember, be discerning. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and I hope you guys have a magical start to your week.